All right, Coach Aslan, with everything that's going on in this year, 2020, what kind of challenges have you faced and how are you all adjusting to it man, as we, far as uh, practice? Tons of challenges, man. I mean, we've been pulling school back, you know, moving that back a couple weeks. It's actually been a positive for us. We've had a lot of lot more practices. We've been able to go back to kind of two-a-day style here. Um, but, you know, we're trying to evaluate things as, as kids come in every single day. we got to evaluate how our kids feel. we got to evaluate a lot of different variables every single day. And uh, the kids have really done a good job fighting through that and showing up and, and being honest with us with a lot of the variables that we're dealing with. But uh, so far we've had a lot of good attendance. We have about 40 kids out 9 through 12 for football, which is a, a big increase from last year. I wasn't sure how the numbers were going to work, if they're going to be up or down with, uh, you know, with the issues we have going on with the coronavirus and different things. So it's been really good. Our practice has been good, a bit crisp. Uh, you know, we have a lot of other adversity with field conditions, but um, you know, I was very pleased the way we've had about two weeks of practice here. Good deal. What did you see out of your team tonight? What did you like, and what are you going to have to work on? Uh, defensively, I thought we played really well uh, till the very end there. I thought we played really well. I thought we played the run game really well. Uh, we had a couple guys get banged up. One guy didn't, didn't feel good, so we had to pull him out. That was kind of key for us, and, and uh, you could see that a little bit at the end. But otherwise, I thought defensively they played really well. They understood the scheme, uh, and I thought they tackled pretty well for game one and uh, scrimmage one, not being able to tackle guys very live. Offensively, I thought we, we, we struggled at some things. We got to work a lot up front. We're very young up front. And so we got to really try to find some pieces of that puzzle up front. But uh, I thought Brian Bernie did a really good job with his poise at quarterback. He threw some good routes. He ran the ball a little bit today. Uh, so I was really pleased with him. You know, overall, offensively, we, we, we got to work a little ball security. Uh, we had a couple balls on the ground I wasn't a big fan of. And uh, we just got to work, you know, toughness and being able to block guys up front. And, um, you know, I, I think we'll get a lot better next week, and that's the hope. We, we have two views. We got a back view and a wide view that we're going we're gonna to chew on tomorrow and watch it, make some corrections, and go from there. And who's up next week? Up next, we go to Wewoka and we experience Wewoka in Canadian uh, on a Thursday, and then we come back and have a weekend uh, to kind of fine tune some things, and then we open up at Lone Grove here, uh, and that'll be a early start. It'll be a five o'clock start on Friday because of our light situation. Uh, so that'll be nice to see. It's also senior night. A lot of us are, are in the area are pushing homecoming and senior night things up early just in case we don't get the whole season in. So it'll be senior night here, September 4th against Lone Grove, and we scrimmage next week on Thursday at Wewoka and hopefully improve from there and just keep improving every day. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Good job. Yes, sir. Thank you.